Hi, Sark Centeno, and this is my What Causes CCI Symptoms series. And today we're going to jump into tinnitus or ringing in the ears. Now, there's a couple different kinds of tinnitus. You can have tinnitus that's constant, or you can have tinnitus, for example, that's pulsatile. You can have tinnitus that's always there, or tinnitus that happens when you do certain things. Uh, for example, you get ringing in your ears when you turn your head, or it sounds like there's a pulsation. Now, normally, tinnitus in CCI is caused by intermittent compression of the internal jugular vein. Uh, and that usually happens due to that C1, C2 instability, where that transverse process of C1 can put pressure on the internal jugular vein as it backstops up against uh, the styloid there. Now, the solution is usually not to cut the styloid out or to have surgery on the transverse process of C1, but to stabilize the upper cervical spine so there isn't that intermittent compression of the internal jugular vein. So that's how those two symptoms are related, craniocervical instability and tinnitus. Uh, again, the goal is to treat the craniocervical instability to get rid of that tinnitus. Hopefully this answers that question. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day. Hey, get this out to more patients by like, comment, share, subscribe. Thanks so much.